What's going on? What's going on? Victor Adetiba here back with another episode of Mansa Tech Mindset Mondays. Mansa Tech Mindset Mondays. Um, this is where every Monday you can tune in to try to get a little bit of motivation for your week. So if this is your first time seeing us, you guys can go to scrumlife.com. That is our YouTube page. And you guys can get a little bit of motivation for the week as well as find out a little bit of information about um, working as a scrum master, uh, making a transition in your career over to technology. So today's focus or this week's focus is going to be focus, focus, um, focus. How focused are you? Um, how focused are the activities that you're doing on the daily basis? I think it's very easy for people to lose focus, myself included, because the world is just constantly moving so fast, right? So many things coming at you. You got, you know, wife, kids, family, mother, father, brother, sister, uh, business ideas, uh, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all of these things that are distracting us away from what our focus could, should, and would be. And sometimes that that distraction is a, is a healthy one, right? If we're talking about family, if we're talking about responsibilities that you have to take care of for your family. Um, absolutely, you, you, you have to do what you ought to do to take care of those responsibilities. But despite that, how focused are you with the things that you should be doing? I know a lot of people that use those friends and family as excuses for not accomplishing the things that they should be accomplishing for um, for not achieving at the rate that they should be achieving. All of these things can be distractions, and so it's imperative that we learn how to get focused in, right? Laser focus. Um, some of you may not know this, but many years ago, I had a film production company. I was into film and, and video production very heavy, and in film, there are different lenses or photography, different lenses that you can use to determine your focal length. And what your focal length is, is the distance away from the camera or the lens or the aperture that an item will be in focus, right? So if you want to take a photo of maybe a person standing in front of a building or in front of a, a beautiful landscape like a mountain, you got to decide what type of lens you want to use, right? So there are lenses where, or if the focus is adjustable, um, there are lenses where only the item that's very close to the camera is going to be in focus and everything behind it is going to be out of focus or blurred. You guys have probably seen some of those beautiful pictures on, on Instagram before. Um, and then there are other photos that people take where the thing that is so many miles or feet or yards away from the camera is in focus, but they're out of focus. And so the question that I have for you guys is, is what type of lens are you guys using for your everyday life, right? Um, sometimes the thing that is close to us is the thing that should be in focus, right? Sometimes the thing that's right here should be the thing that is in focus. But other times we need to have um, a little bit more distance on our focus. And so the here, the right now, shouldn't necessarily be the thing that is our focus. We might need to be focused on the future, right? If you got a student that's in college or maybe you're in college and you're on a, you know, uh, working on your master's or your bachelor's or even your Ph.D., right? The focus is four years from now, six years from now, eight years from now. The things that you're doing today shouldn't necessarily be the focus. You still have to accomplish the things that you've got to do today to get by and so that you can get to the, the focus or the, or the thing that's out in the distance. But 
inevitably you have to be focused on the end goal uh, even as you're moving through the things that you're doing on a day-to-day basis. And so many times I see people who are focused on the wrong things, right? Focus on kicking it on the weekends, right? Birthday party coming up, wedding coming up. I'm trying to go kick it, right? But if you have really committed yourself to achieving something, that thing that you want to achieve should never go out of focus. Um, And sometimes it's a struggle between focus and balance, right? If you are focused on something, that means something is out of focus. And so as people who want to achieve great things or achieve things that we've never achieved before, it's important that we focus on the right things at the right times. And so the question that I'll ask you is, what should you be focused on, right? Take some accountability right now. Um, Do a personal assessment, get a pen, get a piece of paper, and write out the things that you should be focused on in your life. And then do an assessment. Are you focused on them in the way that you should be? Are you spending enough time doing those things that you should do, right? Because the small actions that we take today will make up the huge accomplishments or the huge goals that we achieve tomorrow. And so if you're out of focus on what is most important to you, whether that's family, finances, God, your education, the career that you're after, the breakthrough that you're after, whatever that focus is for you, if you aren't truly focused on it, then it means you're focused on something else. And so it's your responsibility, nobody else's. We don't want to hear excuses, right? Kids can't eat excuses, right? When they get hungry, they need food and you got to have the money to pay for that food, right? So kids can't eat excuses. Um, what are you doing? What are you focused on, right? What are you spending time on? It's funny because in the iPhone, there's an app that you can go to, right? Um, in your settings. I don't know if you guys know about this. Um, but I think it's called screen time, right? Right in there. Let's see if we can get in focus, get the right thing in focus. Uh, screen time. You see that? So you can click on screen time and you can see the things that you are focused on the most. What apps do you use the most and how many hours are you using those apps? How often today have you been scrolling aimlessly on Instagram? Out of focus, right? How often, how many minutes, hours, seconds, days have you been playing different games or sending text messages or in WhatsApp or whatever. What is your focus? And it tracks your focus. You can look at it over a day. I think you can look at it over a month, over a week, over a year, right? What are the things that you're most focused on? And take accountability for that focus. And if it's not in the right place, then you have to adjust your focus. And I guarantee you that if you focus on the right thing for long enough, the results that you achieve are beyond what you could even imagine. But so many of us lack the the dedication. So many of us lack that skill set. So many of us lack that muscle memory of being able to lock in on something, focus on it and achieve it, that we aren't reaching our full potential. And it's unfortunate. Because while one set of people spends time blaming and pointing the finger and being the victim about what it was that they weren't allowed to do or what they couldn't do or what they didn't do, there's another set of people who are locked in, focused on doing what it is you couldn't do, on making it to the level that you weren't focused enough to get to. 
And so, again, I'll encourage you, make a change. Like, every day you wake up, you have an opportunity to be somebody different. If you had a bad habit that you had been doing for the last 10 years, 20 years, you can wake up tomorrow and break that habit. If there were behaviors that weren't, if there were behaviors that were not um, a benefit to who you want to be, be somebody different. Right? Every one of us has that opportunity every day we wake up. It's a choice. It's a decision. Do I want to be who I've been for the last five years, for the last 10 years, or do I want to be the new improved version of myself, right? Who do I have to become to achieve the things that I want to achieve? And some of those old habits, some of those old things that you've been focused on aren't going to serve you in the next journey or in the next phase of your life. And so it's important that we identify what those things are and shift our focus to what those things should be. All right, y'all, that's it. I'm not going to give y'all too much. Um, Once again, if you want to get into our program and and just find out a little bit more about becoming a Scrum Master and transitioning into a career in technology, you guys can text Scrum to 469-382-5890. You guys can also go to our website, academy.mansatech.com to find out more about our program. And I want you guys to do me a favor. I want you guys to do me a favor. In the chat down below, if you guys could write, right, what are the things that you're focused on that you shouldn't be focused on? What are those things that are sucking time, energy, effort, brain power away from you and accomplishing the things that you should be accomplishing, right? And then tell me what are the things that you're focused on that you've seen make a dramatic difference in your life, right? What are the things that you've shifted your focus to that are now helping you become that person you want to be, right? Um, In the chat, I'd love it if you guys give me some feedback. What do you guys think about this new series? How is it helping you personally? That's it, y'all. Master Tech, Mindset Mondays. Peace.